Hi everyone, so this is Mackenzie and I am here to do my 29 week pregnancy vlog. Um, I am a couple days late because we were on vacation kind of to see my family in my hometown and we just got back today. So I'm actually 29 weeks and two days, but that's actually not too late. Um, and I just wanted to let you know some things that were going on. So first of all, just for basic info, the baby this week is approximately two and a half pounds and a little over 15 inches, which is the size of a butternut squash. And their body fat now accumulates about 3.5% of their body weight, which isn't very much, but it was none. So that's really good and it will continue to build the body fat until birth and even afterwards, but that helps to regulate their body temperatures once they are here. So those are some major things that are happening this week. Also, um, for my symptoms, I'm still hungry. I know I mentioned that the last two weeks, but this week I'm not hungry all the time and eating all the time. More like I'm really, really hungry and then I get a play of food and I can't eat hardly any of it. Um, which is pretty common towards the end end of pregnancy. It seems like a little sooner than it ever has been for this to happen to me, but I'm hungry and then I get food and then I eat less than half of it and I'm stuffed compared to what I normally would eat. Um, but then I'm hungry again super fast. So I guess I just have less room because of baby or something like that. And then also lots of pain lately. Just, um, I can just feel like the stretching down here and I can like, it just hurts to like get up and down and to even walk very far, go up steps and my feet are getting sore really fast. Um, which I'm really bad about just throwing flip flops on because honestly I'm lazy and it's summertime and I don't want to uh, deal with the hassle putting on socks and tennis shoes even though I should. But so yeah. That is just all contributing to a whole lot of pain already for me, which is nuts because usually I'm not hurting this bad yet, which really scares me because it's not untypical of me and um, my family to have big babies and if it's because of size or something like that, um, yeah, baby's supposed to be about two and a half pounds right now and I wouldn't be surprised if mine is closer to three or three and a half. Anyways, um, also, I am starting to get more of the fatigue back this week, being a little more tired, and I don't know if that's just because we were gone on vacation and we were running around a lot, I'm thinking some of these symptoms might have a lot more to do with that than anything, um, because we did probably overdo it a little this week, and we were running around seeing family a lot and doing a lot of fun things like swimming and, um, bounce houses and, uh, just going... A lot of places and taking longer walks and being a lot more active which is good to be more active but when you're not quite as used to it all the time that's not really as good so anyways but and then I've started getting some more acne again which through the month of June we did not eat out at all until we left like a few days before the end of June on our vacation and then we did and we probably ate out um, at least once a day, if not twice a day in the last five days, which is how long we were gone was five days. And so I'm really thinking that acne is probably because we were doing really well and eating well, and then we went on vacation and ate a bunch of crap. And so the junk is probably causing me to break out a little bit. So just things like that. Um, it's kind of hard to tell if it's really truly pregnancy related or if it's more just what's going on right now related so also sorry um also i am getting well we ordered our car seat last week a new car seat a skinnier one um called the dino radian um, and we got the r100 because it was a little cheaper and the weight limits were still great and it was skinnier and stuff so um, we ordered that and we weren't sure if we were going to be able to fit three in a row with just that one seat or not but we got it before we went on vacation and we installed it 
next to our other two seats that we have and we will we did get um three rear facing in our impala so i'll be making a video soon on that and i'm really excited about that because it just makes things easier and it's just nice to not to have to use our bigger vehicle all the time now that we have a third child and i didn't want to forward face her for that um yet anyway my daughter will be not even three yet, a few weeks shy of three when this third one is born. So, yeah, but um, other than that, things are going really good and baby is moving around a lot, getting a lot more active, it seems like. Um, and my next um, midwife appointment is on July 10th, which is also my birthday. So I will be um, 23 years old and today is the second and so, the 4th of July is in a couple days, and we don't do a whole lot to celebrate. I mean, we do celebrate it. It's just we don't spend a lot of money to celebrate it. Anyways, um, so we'll be doing fun things with the kids and stuff. So that is about it, and I will see you guys in my next vlog. Bye.